guys, Rob Girl here, and today I am being, I am going to be looking at um, Ten Five Nights at Freddy's jump scares on my PS4. Well, I'll tell you the first one when I see it on there. It's um. Too. I like Five Nights at Freddy's jump scares too, and I only poop my pants sometimes. Right. Or should I say, oh, I get it. Fantastic. Let's begin, ladies. Number twenty, Shadow Freddy. Shadow Freddy's jump. Yeah. Don't know if this counts as a jump Okay. Scare, I don't know. Hey, top twenty sounds so much better than top seventeen, don't you think? Not much is known about this darker, purple version of Freddy, nicknamed Shadow Freddy by fans. Appearing randomly under no set circumstances, Shadow Freddy shares the same position as Golden Freddy, yeah. albeit, in my opinion, a bit less spooky. Staring at this guy for too long will cause your game to crash, so I guess that accounts for it being kind of a jump scare. I don't know. Boom. Number 19. Shadow Bonnie. Shadow Bonnie. So Same with Funny Time. Shadow Bonnie, as nicknamed by fans, appears very rarely in the player's office and looks fairly similar to Toy Bonnie, minus the extra set of teeth. And it is teeth. Toy Bonnie! Just oh, like Shadow no, it isn't. If you stare at this ghastly figure for too long, it will fade away and the game will crash once again. I find Shadow Bonnie. I've done that two, two times. Like, like, seriously, I. Okay. Number 17. Balloon Number 17. Boy. Yep. Balloon Boy. Sure expecting this one to be higher. Everyone hates Balloon Boy. Okay, maybe not everyone. I do. It's hard not to when that little shit keeps getting into your room, laughing and smiling like he owns the goddamn place, and making fun yeah. of his iPhone straight into your face. So on seeing Balloon Boy, you're not really freaked out. Instead, you want to smash your keyboard. But don't do that. Keyboards are expensive. Also, he doesn't scream in your face. Which is good. Number 16. Freddy and the Darkness. 
here always with plenty of chance. They miss the way Freddy bobs his head from left to right like he's having a seizure, or because of the fact that it really looks like he's about to hug you, even more than Toy Bonnie. And I don't know if it's just me, but Freddy looks a lot smaller in this jump scare. Almost like a plushie or something. Yeah. Oh my god. I agree. I want a Freddy plushie. Number 12. Toy Chica. Alright, finally, we get a toy animatronic that is actually somewhat creepy. Toy Chica, who mysteriously loses her beak when exiting the show stage, okay. looks somewhat unsettling. No beak, no nose, and pitch black hollow eyes turn her into one of the scarier enemies of the second game. The fact that she alters her appearance in order to damage you, and possibly freak you out more, is a very creepy thought. She's really hungry, and you're on the menu, <coughs> baby. Stay away, dear. Stay away from my office. Number 11. Chica from the first game. Slightly worse than her toy counterpart, Chica from the first game looks downright crazy when she's screaming at you. It's like she's screaming at the top of her lungs and shaking in the process. Now that's powerful. She really, really wants you dead, apparently. I like this jump scare just because of how utterly insane Chica looks when she's attacking you. I mean, look at that. That is a face of pure insanity. Although, her beak makes her look a little more bearable. I like Toy Chica. But for whatever reason, I like this jump scare better. Number 10. Old Freddy. If you ask me, I prefer Old Freddy more than his first game counterpart. I like the slightly grittier, more blocky version of him a lot more. His jump scare, although admittedly a bit goofy, is also pretty amusing to look at. It looks like he's about to bite your whole damn head off. Yeah. 
always, always are compressing. And you always have to keep taps on them regularly. Also, one toxin on the first game kept its distance. This time around, Foxy just tells you to F off and completely dives straight into you. I love this jump scare, simply for the fact that it pretty much gives a giant middle finger to the theory that Foxy was one of the good guys trying to protect you, which is a theory that I always found very stupid. I mean, he's a robot that wants to kill you. He's not good. Why is Watch Dogs taking so long to download? 